One Piece 1083 was an incredibly important addition to the Egghead arc. While this chapter was certainly not the best over the course of the last few months, it was one that laid down the groundwork for important plot points that is to follow. One Piece 1083 focused solely on the Revolutionary Army. Previously, fans saw Sabo arrive on Momoro Island, and he decided to tell the truth about the events of Mary Ajoy to Dragon and Ivankov. This chapter went over precisely that and gave the fans an idea of how the mission of the Revolutionary Army went once they infiltrated the Holy Land of Mary Ajoy. The Goals of the Revolutionary Army As soon as Sabo talked to Dragon, it was made abundantly clear that the mission of the Revolutionary Army was a great success. Sabo revealed that the Revolutionary Army officers had three goals that they had to accomplish once they infiltrated Mary Ajoy, and they succeeded in completing all of those. The first goal was to destroy the hoof of the Celestial Dragon. This symbol can be considered to be the greatest power symbol that the Celestial Dragons have. After Sabo infiltrated the Holy Land, he destroyed it completely and, with the Revolutionary Army commanders, he also burned down the flag of the Celestial Dragons. This marks the completion of the first goal that the Revolutionary Army commanders had. The second mission that they had to accomplish was to free the slaves on Mary Ajoy and, thanks to the sheer power of the commanders under Sabo, this mission was not too difficult. They did what did Fisher Tiger in the olden days and managed to free quite a lot of slaves. The slaves were then evacuated from Mary Ajoy, and this marked another great victory for them. The slave, Bartholomew Kuma, in particular, was one that the world government wanted to keep as their dog since he was a former pirate and a king and he was made an example out of. Sabo personally undertook the mission of freeing Bartholomew Kuma, and this was an extremely important part of the mission. Fans have not seen Kuma being freed yet, however, it will surely follow in the next chapter. Since fans already know that Kuma was free, it can be considered that their mission of freeing the slaves was a great success. Finally, the last objective of the Revolutionary Army commanders was to destroy the food storage in the Holy Land of Mary Ajoy. This was extremely important for their plans going forward which Dragon had laid out. As soon as they finished their goals, they left however. That didn't happen before the government called in the big guns. The two admirals arrived. As soon as the world government realized that they had been invaded, Admiral Fujitora and Green Bull were called into action. Unsurprisingly, the two admirals could not fight at the best of their abilities however. Despite that, it was a shock for the fans to see that just one commander each managed to hold back the two admirals. Morley ended up fighting against Green Bull, while Karasa fought against Fujitora. Fans also got a first-hand view of Karasa's devil fruit powers. Previously, fans believed him to be a Zoan Devil Fruit user, however, this chapter confirms him to be either a special Paramecia or a Logia type of Devil Fruit user. The name of his Devil Fruit is Susu Susu no Mi, and it allows him to turn into Soot as well as create and manipulate it. To fight against his powers, Fujitora was compelled to bring down a meteor, however, given that they were fighting in Mary A. Joy, it would have been very stupid for him to see this through. Nonetheless, the two admirals were held off successfully as the slaves were freed and, as fans know already, Kuma was rescued as well. While Morley and Karasa fought against the admirals, Lindbergh, the Southern Army commander, managed to free quite a lot of the slaves held captive in the Holy Land. The vast majority of the chapter covered this portion of the flashback, however. The chapter ended with Cobra going to attend a meeting with the five elders. Unfortunately, fans did not get to see what exactly happened to him, however. The next chapter will likely answer that question for everyone. As has been made clear already, Cobra's death was pinned on Sabo. It isn't clear how exactly he was framed, however. One Piece 1084 will likely give fans an insight into that. And in other news, One Piece, Karasu's Susu Susu no Mi explained. Karasu is one of the most important characters in One Piece when it comes to the Revolutionary Army. Introduced to the fans as the commander of the Northern Forces of the Revolutionary Army, Karasu is a man worth 400 million berries, which is the second highest 
highest bounty among the Revolutionary Army commanders. He is known to be an extremely dangerous person, and upon his debut, shortly after the whole Cake Island arc, fans saw him utilize his devil fruit powers. Initially, Karasu appeared to be a user of a Zoan devil fruit that allows him to control crows. However, the recent chapter of One Piece proved that this is far from the case. He is the user of the Susu Susu no Mi, and this devil fruit works in unique ways. What is the Susu Susu no Mi? The Susu Susu no Mi is an incredible devil fruit the classification of which is unconfirmed at the moment. However, it is highly likely that this fruit falls within the Logia class. This devil fruit allows Karasu to produce, as well as manipulate soot, which is the residue created by the incomplete combustion of a substance. Essentially, this power allows Karasu to manipulate carbon particles that are unburned and remain as small black particles. Manipulating carbon particles is an extremely dangerous ability, and it goes without saying that this devil fruit is one of the most incredible ones that the fans have seen in the story so far. Depending on how Oda chooses to use use this power. It can prove to be an asset to the Revolutionary Army. So far, fans have not seen much of its usage. However, what fans do know is that Karasu can create crows out of this soot and then use them to do individual functions. He can also individually communicate through each crow that he creates, as has been seen on several occasions in the story. Karasu can also spread the soot that he creates and then make giant spears out of them, taking down multiple enemies at the same time. This was seen when he was fighting against the world government officials, and he managed to spread his soot all around the battlefield and create giant spears with them, in a manner akin to Moria's Tsunotokagi. Using Crow Rinkan, he could also barrage his enemy with crows, as seen during his short clash against Admiral Fujitora. How Karasu uses the Susu Susu no Mi Karasu's usage of the Susu Susu no Mi is extremely good and fans have already seen that on several occasions. The very first usage of this devil fruit came after the conclusion of the Dressrosa arc, where Karasu was carrying Sabo to Baltigo. Later on, in Lelugia, he displayed his abilities when Pink Beard and his group tried to harass the citizens. His crow ability was pretty clear to see, however, it was only recently that the true power of this devil fruit was revealed to the fans. Karasu uses his ability in very unique ways. A normal user of the Susu Susu no Mi will not likely create clothes made out of soot and employ crows into battle. This gave fans a false impression that he is a user of a Zoan type fruit, while in reality, he could only make crows out of soot. The interesting thing is, however, that each crow appears to be individually in charge of their different actions, and Karasu can oversee them all at the same time. This means that the multitasking power that this fruit offers him is incredible. At the same time, Karasu is extremely good at its usage, evident from the fact that he could even fight against an admiral of the navy with its powers, and this is nothing short of staggering. Is the Susu Susu no Mi a Logia? The biggest question that the fans have right now is whether Karasu's devil fruit, the Susu Susu no Mi, is a Logia or a Paramecia. Judging from the fact that he was shot countless times by the world government officials, and every bullet seems to pass through him, he isn't a Paramecia. At the very least, he isn't a regular Paramecia, and that is for sure. More likely than not, Karasu is a Logia type of devil fruit user. The interesting thing is, however, Logia type of devil fruits only grant powers that exist in nature in natural forms, and so it appears to be a byproduct instead of appearing in nature in the purest form. This means that the Susu Susu no Mi also has a chance to be different from a Logia. After all, it could perhaps fit into the same category as the devil fruit of Charlotte Katakuri, which is a special Paramecia. Special Paramecia devil fruits are Logia in all but name. They act just like Logia and allow the user to turn their bodies into a given substance, as well as produce and manipulate it. The user can then move around within their bodies to make it appear as if they are intangible and even with hockey, they cannot be hurt unless their real body is hit. Paired with future sight, the special Paramecia type becomes incredibly dangerous. That said, the fruit is almost certainly a Logia if Oda considers soot to just be naturally occurring carbon particles that exist in nature. Either way, Karasu's devil fruit is extremely overpowered. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.